These are images from the very first show the band Girl Trouble played at a Battle of the Bands. They didn't win that battle, but they've never stopped fighting. <laughs> For 40 years, practicing in this very shed at least two nights a week, Girl Trouble has been keeping the spirit of garage rock alive in the hometown they share with the Sonics, Ventures, and Whalers. Where are we going? Nowhere! Where's nowhere? Tacoma! My brother Bill started playing guitar and I thought I would like to play drums. I always wanted to play drums as a kid and they didn't let girls play drums. He had a school friend, Dale, who had a bass, but we needed a singer. Then we got Kurt. He said, I can't sing. And we said, well, it doesn't matter. We can't play, so we're good. <laughs> Nirvana opened for them in 89. Nico Case danced in one of their music videos. But like the city they call home, Girl Trouble says they've been eluding fame since 1984. But we're still gonna get signed, right guys? <laughs> in their early days, playing at the Java Jive, Girl Trouble would toss gifts into the crowd and invite the 80-something Granny Gogo to dance on stage. The tradition continues. The cutest girls go to Girl Trouble shows and they dance. Frontman Kurt K.P. Kendall has yet to find a shirt he'll wear for an entire show. My thought when I get up there is drink if you want to drink and dance and have fun and just for like an hour and a half forget whatever it is that's bothering you. Leave it to the quintessential Tacoma band to write the quintessential Tacoma anthem inspired by a misheard Nirvana lyric. And they said, here we are now. I thought they were saying here in our town. And I thought, ooh, they wrote a song about their town. That is such a good idea. And then when I found out it wasn't about their town, I thought, OK, we better write about our town. We better write. <laughs> Favorite lyrics in that song? The driver said on the speaker loud and clear, don't get off the bus, because there ain't nothing for you here. That happened to Bill. It actually happened, actually happened to him. 40 years have passed. Dozens of record releases later, Girl Trouble is still rocking out and still dreaming. We still might make it. <laughs> we still think we're going to make it. <laughs>